Look honey, GNN News is back. And it looks like they have a new theme song. Hello, and welcome to GNN News. We have now resumed regular service, and we thank you for your support and patience during this prolonged outage. Anyways, our top story is that the Scooby Gang has been reported missing. They were last seen in the Italian city of Rome, and rescue efforts are well underway. Wait, are they actually serious? It looks like they are. I hope they're able to find the Scooby Gang and get them home. Hey Dad, can Chorus and I watch some TV? No, can't you see we are busy watching the news? Oh come on, you guys always watch the news. Can't you spare us some time? I don't care, now get out of my sight, get out of my life, and go die a slow and painful death. Okay, fine. Oh, and by the way, what are you watching on TV? Oh, it's just that Fred and his gang are stuck on an island in Italy. Oh okay, so Fred and his gang are stuck on an island, huh? Sure seems like it. Chorus, you know what I'm thinking? Since mom and dad won't let us use the TV, we should go to Fred's house and use his instead. Okay, normally I would say no due to the risk of concussions, but you know. They said rescue efforts are still ongoing, so it's gonna be a while before they get back. I'm up for it. Okay then, let's go. No freaking way, this idiot forgot to lock the door. Now let's go watch some TV. Wow, what a dreadful trip that was. I know, it really sucked. I was stuck in jail with no phone for most of it. You think it sucked for you? Well, the rest of us were trapped on an island for a whole week. We had to drink the disgusting salt water to survive for God's sake. And we could have gotten out sooner if you didn't stupidly decide to throw your phone in the ocean. Shut up Scooby. Guys, can we quit the fighting and just be glad we're back in one piece? Okay, fine. I'm going to go watch TV so I can forget about all this. Okay. Let's... Oh hey Fred. We were just borrowing your TV for a little. Get the absolute f out of my goddamn mother f***ing house you stupid pieces of garbage. How did you even get in here in the first place? Oh, the front door was unlocked, so we thought you were letting people into your house. I don't care. I said get out. Leave my house right freaking now 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 now. Nah. We're good. Anyways, we're gonna watch some more TV if you don't mind. That's it. <laughs> Leave now or your next classic car you. <laughs> Alright, now that those pieces of crap are gone, let's watch some TV. Hey. What's this? It looks like a game show or something like that. It looks like it's time to go back to being a car mechanic. Unanimously with seven votes you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Hey, this show actually looks kinda fun, and it gives out a lot of prize money. You know, since I've been on three other shows on Samster's channel, maybe I should go on the weakest link as well. Time to go research how to get on that show. Hey guys, great news. What is it Fred? A few weeks ago, I applied to be on The Weakest Link. You mean the game show? Yeah, and they accepted my online audition, so I'll be flying out today to be on the show. What the heck? Why did they even let you on? You really don't deserve to go on that show, let alone win a crap ton of money from it. I guess they did it to get better ratings as having people like him on helps spice up the show. And best of all, you idiots aren't coming with me, so good luck trying to stop me from giving everyone concussions if it does come to that. Well I am so not okay with this. If anyone, Donna should go on that show since she has more knowledge than you. Shut up. Everything's all been arranged anyway, so there's nothing any of you numbskulls can do about it. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a flight to catch. Jinkies. Here we go again. Hey dude, remember me?
We met some years ago on Samster's channel. You know damn well I remember you. You literally made me crash into a freaking McDonald's one time. And that was pretty funny to see you do that. Anyways, what are you here for? Well, I was accepted to go on The Weakest Link, so I'm heading over to NBC Studios for that. Wait, you're going on that show too? I was just on my way there. God freaking dang it. I can't believe I'm gonna have to deal with you. Neither can I. Listen Fred, if your performance is not 100% satisfactory at any point, I'm voting you off. God that. If you do that, then it's concussion time. Now let's go to the NBC studios and get this over with. Okay, let's go. Well guys, the weakest link is about to come on. We all better brace ourselves. Honestly Velma, we've seen Fred do stuff like this so many times before that I wouldn't even be surprised. Remember what happened at the Taylor Swift concert? Yes Gobi, I agree with you. Guys, like the show is starting now. Prepare for ultimate disappointment. Of the 8 contestants preparing for the show today, only one of them will win the prize money of up to 1 million dollars. The rest of the team will leave with nothing, as round by round they will be voted off as the weakest link. Welcome to the weakest link. Any of the eight people in the studio here today could win up to one million dollars. They don't know each other, however, if they want to win the prize money, they'll have to work as a team. But seven of them will leave with nothing, as round by round, we eliminate the player voted off as, the weakest link. Let's meet, the team. Hi, my name is Matthew Supper, I'm 27, and I am a bodyguard. Hi, I'm Heather. I'm 21 years old, and I am a restaurant waitress. I'm Fred. I'm 25 years old, and I am unemployed. And I am going to beat all you numbskulls you a a a a a a a a a a a a a a Hi, I'm Simon, I'm 32 years old, and I'm an air traffic controller. I'm Kira. I'm 29 years old, and I work at a beach resort. I am Bill, I am 72 years old and I am a retired teacher. Hello, I'm Sophia. I'm 38 years old and I'm a chemist. Hi! I'm Georgian. I am 23 years old, and I am a university student. Now, Fred was acting kinda strange there. Who you calling strange? Oh forget it. Anyways, here are the rules in each round. The aim is to answer enough questions correctly to reach your $125,000 target within the time limit. The fastest way is to create a chain of 7 correct answers. If you say pass or get your question wrong, you'll break the chain and lose all the money in that chain. However, if you say the word bank before the next question is asked, the money is safe. But you'll start a new chain from scratch. Remember team, at the end of the round, only money that has been banked, can be taken forward. In round 1, there are 2.5 minutes on the clock. We'll start with the person whose name is first alphabetically. And that's you, Bill. Let's play, The Weakest Link. The first question is for $1,000, start the clock. Bill complete the name of this Canadian 60s television series, The Littlest What? Pass. The correct answer is Hobo. Fred what award is given to a YouTube creator when they surpass 100,000 subscribers? Silver play button. Correct Georgia. In geometry how many sides does a trapezoid have? Four. Correct Heather. In the phonetic alphabet if A is alpha and Z is Zulu what is T? Is it Tango? Correct Simon. Which popular American actor voiced Mario in the 2023 Super Mario Brothers movie? Chris Pratt. Correct Clara. Which star sign in the zodiac is represented by a bull? Taurus. Correct Macusopa. In geography Madrid is the capital of which European country? Is it Madrid? Correct Sophia. If someone was to die, then they would kick the what? Bucket. Correct Bill. What are the two colors that feature on the national flag of Canada? Red and white. Correct Fred. 
pass. No, I mean bank. No, I can't accept your bank. You said pass first. Is this some kind of a joke? Bank the money right freaking now. Shut up, I'm not banking your money. That's fine. Georgia in maths, what is 32 multiplied by 2? Is it 64? Correct, Heather. Bank. In music, what is the name of American singer Taylor Swift's fourth studio album? Red. Correct, Simon. In fashion, what part of your body would you wear a beanie? Your head. Correct, Clara. Which DC Comics superhero has the real name Clark Kent? Superman. Correct, McCusopa. Bank. In the abbreviation NATO, what does the A stand for? American. No, Atlantic. Sophia, in chemistry, what is the atomic number for helium? Two. Correct, Bill. In maths, what is 20% as a fraction? Is it one fifth? Correct, Fred. In the animal kingdom, can no, it's way too late to bank, so I cannot accept it. What? Are you kidding me? Bank the money right this instant. Oh my god, just shut up already and answer the question. In the animal kingdom, can penguins fly? Yes, they f***ing can. No, they can't. Are you actually freaking joking me right now? <laughs> Georgia in technology, Sony is an electronic device company from which East Asian country? Is it Japan? Correct, Heather. In the Gregorian calendar, Halloween is celebrated at the... Time's up. I cannot complete the question. And that was a very pathetic start, team. Out of the $125,000 you could have banked in this round, you only banked. An embarrassing. Pitiful. Disappointing. Abysmal. $6,000. And worst of all, you had a chain of eight. Correct. Answers. Which means you could have reached your target if you actually bothered to bank properly. Whose fault was that? Who has a special talent, of being stupid? Who has already overstayed their welcome? One of you, is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off, the weakest link. In this first round, Heather is the strongest link since she answered all her questions correctly, and banked some money for the team. On the other hand, Fred is the weakest link, since he answered the most questions incorrectly, and made the team lose a lot of money. Who is going to be voted off first, in this early stage of the game? Okay, voting over it's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Fred. Fred. Heather. Fred. 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 So Heather, remind me what you do. I am a restaurant waitress. And what kind of stuff does that job involve? You know, usual waitress stuff. Taking people's orders, escorting them to their seat, helping customers, to name a few. I see. Do you plan on moving on to a better career once you're done being a waitress? Definitely. The main reason why I'm working is so I can pay off my student loans. Once I'm done with my education, I certainly will be getting a better job. Well that's pretty interesting. So Heather, why did you vote for Fred? Oh boy, where do I even start? I started seeing Red the very second he introduced himself. He came off as very self-centered, and he looked like he wouldn't work as a team. Hey! And he definitely didn't. He only got one question right the whole round, and he made the team lose a lot of money when he said pass instead of bank. No, I was perfect the whole round. Shut the hell up. Also, he wasted lots of precious time by arguing with you whenever he made a mistake, and frankly, he was generally a sore loser. And the final nail in the coffin was when he voted to eliminate me, even though I was the strongest link in that last round. Heather, I saw during that last round you banged pretty early. Why was that? Because I had such low expectations for Fred that I knew he would screw up again later, so I banked early because I didn't want the team to walk away with nothing. Okay, that sounds pretty justified. Heather, you stupid brain dead piece of garbage. You're just jealous you're not a quiz master like me. Uh, 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 well, Heather.
Heather summed it up perfectly, so we'll just get down to business. Fred, the 25-year-old who is unemployed, you were the worst player in the last round. You got most of your questions wrong, and you made the team lose a lot of money. It looks like it's time to go back home. I have the absolute full pleasure of saying this to you Fred. Unanimously with 7 votes you are the weakest link. Goodbye. What the f Seriously, what the actual f I can't believe you absolute pieces of human garbage actually voted me off. You know what? Yeah, you know the hell what? If I can't win the prize money, then no one can. I'm going to destroy this godforsaken place and give you douchebags the absolute worst concussions of your entire pathetic lives. Then, you will just have to go on another game show. Wait. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. I knew it. You know what? I should go and hold the producers hostage and force them to give me the one million dollars. Let's go. Wait. Velma, I still can't believe what Fred did when he went on the weakest link. Agreed. I just hope he didn't steal anything or do anything else illegal. Hey guys. What's up? Nothing much Fred, but may I ask, why do you look so happy? Well you see, right after my rampage at the weakest link, I went and held the producers hostage until they agreed to give me the one million dollars. Knowing I'm the concussion beast, they obliged, and now I have one million dollars to spend on anything. Excuse me, what? Yeah, and the police explicitly told me they won't bother trying to seize the money from me. Since they know not to mess with the concussion beast. Oh my god I should have known. Why would you do such a thing? Because I can. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go get wasted. This is completely unacceptable. We cannot let this one slide. I agree. Why don't we go up to my room to discuss this? Okay, let's go. Okay, how are we going to go about this? I was thinking we should just return the money to the producers of The Weakest Link. True, but if Fred finds out that's what happened to the money, he might go after them again. Knowing how manipulative he is, I don't think that's the best option. Well, do you have any better ideas? Oh yeah, maybe we should steal his money, spend some of it, and then split the remainder and give it to the other contestants that were on the show. That way, the other contestants get compensated for their troubles, and Fred gets taught a lesson. How's that? That sounds like a decent idea, but we'll need a lot of work to pull this off. Maybe we could ask Shaggy and Scooby for help. I'll be back in a bit. Hey guys. Like what's up Daphne? So basically. And best of all, you'll get some money too to spend on McDonald's. Wow, like Scooby and I would do anything for some good McDonald's. I agree. Count us in. Awesome. Now let's get this ball rolling. A few moments later. Nice. I'm in. Now let's try and get the info of the contestants so we can send them the money. Man, I cannot believe what happened at the weakest link. I seriously hope that Fred guy gets what he deserves. You've got mail. Huh? What's this? Dear Heather, it's me Velma. I am sorry for what happened at the weakest link earlier. We are writing to inform you that we have hacked into Fred's bank account. Therefore, we have decided to give you part of the one million dollars he stole from the show's producers to you, since frankly, you and the other contestants deserve the money more. Well that's really nice of her. And I can't wait to see Fred's reaction when he realized he did all that for nothing. Ugh, why do they have to make the Super Bowl all about Taylor Swift this year? As if she wasn't already rich and famous to begin with, but hey. At least I can feel like her since I have a million dollars all to myself. Time to admire it. Oh my 
freaking god. Why is all my money gone? I had one million dollars and now it's gone forever. Which one of you idiot gang members did this to me? I demand you tell me now. Ha ha friend, you just got pranked. What do you mean I just got pranked? I mean the rest of the gang and I hacked into your bank account, stole the one million dollars and spent some of it. After that, we split the remainder and gave it to all the other contestants that were on the weakest link with you. I say you deserve it since you didn't get the money legitimately. Enjoy going all that way for nothing friend. No, no, my million dollars is gone. How freaking dare you pieces of crap steal my money from me and give it to the other douchebags that were on the weakest link with me. You know what? That's I see. I am going to give you absolute pieces of human garbage the most insane concussions of your life and then destroy the house to take out my anger <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.